This is the SMAI CrossFit Timer. So I'm just going to run through the instructions um, and basically a how-to of how to use it. There's a few different technical ways of going through it, but it's all in the instruction manual, so I'll go through the basics today. So at the moment we're looking at the clock. Um, you can change from 24 hour to 12 hour time. So you just press the shift button and it goes like that. Now if you want to edit the clock, um, you just press the edit button and then you just enter whatever number you want. So if I go two, then it'll change to two. Go back to one. And then when you want to save it, press edit. And that's done for the clock. Um, now we'll just go through the quick count up. Um, so with this one, you just got to press F1. And then enter. So it'll go through a 10 second countdown. And as you can see, this one counts all the way up to 99.59, so basically 100 minutes. Um, to stop it, you just go back to the clock. So now we'll run through the stopwatch function. So with that one, it's F4. And then when you're ready to go, press enter. And when you want to stop it, press enter again. And keep going, just like that. Now again, you can just press the clock button, or if you want to go back to the stopwatch, just press F4. And we'll go back there again. The next part what we'll do is go through setting up a custom count up to time. So with here, you just go back to the clock and press up. And then from there, um, you just start entering in the different numbers. So press the edit key. And it's just like when you're doing it with the clock. So if you want it to go up to 20 minutes, you do that. 30 minutes and so on and so forth. Um, and then when you're ready to go, you press the edit button. Just like that, so it'll go back to normal, and then you press enter. And so now it'll go up to 30 minutes, and then it'll stop from there. We'll go back to normal. So the next part is setting up a custom countdown so it's the same thing just press down and then edit and then choose whichever one you want so let's go zero zero one let's go from there just so you can see the whole thing in motion press edit and then press enter. So this will go the whole thing. That way you can see start to finish. So that's what it sounds like when it finishes. The last thing I'll show you today is the quick countdown from 20 minutes to zero. So with that one, you just press F2. So you're good there, and then you just press enter. So again, it's pretty simple. Once you want to stop the clock or go back and do a different function, you can pretty much press any of the F1, F2 buttons or press the clock if you just want to show the clock. 
and that's pretty much it. There's a lot of other different custom ways to do it, but it's all in the instruction manual. Um, have fun.